Don't you know that it's worth every treasure on earth to be young at heart? For as rich as you are, it's much better by far to be young at heart. And if you should survive to a hundred and five, look at all you'll derive out of being alive. And here is the best part, you have a head start if you are among the very young at heart. The first night I started out, I'm driving along and I said, you know, I need an, another name. I said, Lou Friedman. And for some known reason, Lou Mains, Mains came to my mind. I said, you know, my name is going to be Lou Mains. I'll never forget that opening night. I, the guy gets nine o'clock and I walk in there and I, the guy says to me, are you ready? I says, yeah, I'm ready. And I get up in the sink and I said, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lou Maines, I'm here to entertain you. I said, get a drink and sit back, relax, and uh, I said, and um, we'll have some fun. And that was the start of my singing. The first song I ever sang in those places were, the uh, first song I ever sang was, uh, <clears throat> oh, let's see. There's no business like show business there's no business i know everything about it is appealing everything the traffic will allow when you get that happy feeling when you are stealing that extra bow there's no people like i remember that night and i had a great time and people came along i put my hat down and they were throwing pennies in your bin, the thing, and nickels, and you got nickels and maybe a dime here and there, but a lot of pennies, people would come, you know. So I picked up, the, you know, in those days, pennies was money. So whatever I made, it was like, what the hell, it was found money. The doctors walked in that day from my 98th, uh, when I came, I was 98, and he says, you know, Lou, before we start, I got to tell you something. What is it, Doc? You know, Lou, you're my oldest patient. And he said, I've been practicing medicine now for 35 years. I've been a doctor. I've never had a patient in your condition at 98, he said. I don't know, he said. I don't know, you're either a miracle man or it's your genes, Lou, I really don't know. He said, and uh, he said, but you know what? He said, when I get to be 98, he said, I want to be just like you too, he said to me. <laughs> oh, he was funny. Happy birthday to you. I can wait. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. You know, it's been a great day today, and uh, I really enjoyed it. I'm glad everybody could, pe could come and celebrate my 99th birthday party, and it's been a lot of fun, and my daughter has been a great help in trying to make the party and doing a lot of things going out of her way, and I try to help her as best as I can. I think I did a pretty fair job. Don't you I swept think the so. floors, cut the cheese, vacuumed. Want to want to come over? You can come over my house. <laughs> <Yeah>. now. <laughs> you can make a real yes. business out of it. I I it's it's been a great it's been a great day and not much to say and uh, maybe another a year the face will be kind to me and uh, we'll be here to celebrate my 100th birthday, and uh, that will be a great day. 
So I'm going to say adieu. Good night to everyone and pleasant dreams. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>